everyone. This is Amanda from Devotion in Action and I wanted to say Happy New Year. I am so excited to have you on this vlog, on the Facebook page, in my tribe of people for Devotion in Action. And this January, we're going to start off the year right. We're going to get into the Word of God and really develop those spiritual habits that help propel us to the next level in our Christian relationship this year. And also, they help us to develop consistencies and habits in other areas of our lives. So when we get this foundational part right, it totally sets us up for success in other areas of our lives that we may have goals or dreams in as well. And so this year, I thought, Everybody is so crazy busy that it can feel overwhelming and um, like you failed before you even started. Uh, when you have a plan that requires you to do something uh, very specific or a big thing every single day of the week because that doesn't allow any catch up time so or any like really any reflection time I guess. Um, this is how I feel when I start. A plan I've maybe been successful one time <laughs> um, when I started a plan that was like read the whole Bible through in a year and each day I had to read a huge chunk of the Bible and um, if I got behind it felt like I could never catch up and so um, this January I have a study in Ruth that I think you're really gonna love because this story is so accessible and yet it has so much depth and so mo so many wonderful things to learn from the Word of God just in this short little book of Ruth. It's only four chapters long and each chapter is right around 20 verses. I think one of them is 18, one of them is 23, but like it's in between there so the whole time. So each chapter is very... Um, doable. It's easy to read in one setting. And, uh, and we're going to take a chapter a week in January. We're going to start on the week of January, uh, like the, the Sunday that's the 5th, and then the Monday's the 6th, that kind of uh, start. We're going to start there for week one in Ruth 1. And I've, I've got some challenges for you for each day of the Monday through Friday week, and then giving you Saturday and Sunday as catch up or reflection days, days to go to your own local church and really engage with uh, the community that you're building there. And I hope that you'll be on the on Instagram and on the Facebook group and commenting uh, on the blog post for Ruth because I'd love to see what comes out of this time in the book of Ruth for you personally. I'm going to be posting um, each Sunday I'll post uh, the text from the, from the chapter for the week. So Ruth 1 on January 5th, Sunday, January 5th, I will post the scripture passage and a devotional from me. And uh, I'll also have freebies each week to help you if you are into Bible art journaling or um, like reflecting creatively. I'll have some free printables for you to either print in color or trace or uh, look at and decide what you're going to do with. You can totally change them up and do something a little different. You can do something totally different if you would like. I'm all on board for that. I'd love to see what you come up with. But there'll be a free printable that goes along with the devotional every week and then I'm going to have some short challenges for you like share one thought on social media about the book of Ruth or about what we read this about this time what God is revealing to you so it can be in our Facebook group it can be on the Instagram post it can be um, that you just share it on your social media it can be in the comments on the blog just share one thought that uh, really God kind of made stand out to you. It's that lightning bolt moment when you're reading along and suddenly a word stands out and you just keep that word out of your head while you're reading the chapter the rest of the time. Sometimes that's when God wants you to really focus on that word and dig a little bit deeper and say, say, oh, what are you trying to tell me from this? And Or it could be just a phrase that really resonated with you and is uh, particularly appropriate for whatever season you're in in life because we all go through a season highs and lows and things that we're struggling with and things that we're feeling really joyful and successful about. So I, I really hope to hear from you during this month of January. And the more that we engage with others, the more we feel that accountability and the, the more likely we are to go ahead and get those habits set in deeply. So each week we're going to reflect on one chapter of Ruth. Week one, Ruth one, week two, Ruth two you get the picture. <laughs> and so we'll all do that together. And if you fall behind, just read the chapter the next day or the day after that, or read a few verses on Monday and some on Tuesday and some on Wednesday and some on Thursday and chime in when you can, do what you can, 
and take it at your own pace if you want. But that gives us the whole week to do one chapter. And uh, we're going to apply this to how we relate to people in the real world, not just the cyber world. And we're going to dig in and creatively respond to God's Word through art and you can do it through music, you can do it however you'd like to creatively respond to God's Word because that really sets it in our spirit and helps us to remember it later on. Anyway, I hope that you will join me on this fantastic study of Ruth that just jumpstart our whole year in 2020. Have a happy new year and I can't wait to see you in the book of Ruth.